Go. Tell me a story about when Carlos was little, Mom. When Carlos was what? Little. When he came home from the hospital, he was the cutest little baby I had ever seen. I wanted to hold him so much, but your dad was scared to hold him. Uh -huh. But I loved him instantly. And I thought that he was going to be my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he was shared by a lot of people, wasn't he? Paula uh -huh. and you and me. And, and he stayed with me, too. But he was four days old, mm -hmm. four or five days yeah. old. Uh -huh. Then when he was gone, I missed him so much. Mm. But then when your, your mom started working, she brought him over, and I had to, for, well, when, when you were working in Wellington, mm -hmm. uh -huh, but you used to take him to Yoli. Yeah. I didn't want him, I didn't want you taking him to Yoli, but you insisted that, that, because I had uh, Janelle and Stephanie and all them. Mm -hmm. yes. You didn't think I could handle them all. But we used to pick him, we used to take him to the babysitter and he didn't want to go. He didn't want to go to Yoli's. But he got off anyway. And your dad took him, your grandpa took him into Yoli's. And when he come home, we come out, your dad had a grim face in his face. He says, Carlos didn't want to stay, but Yoli made him stay. So. We would pick him up at four o'clock, and he, he was right by the door. Mm. And when he come out the, when when he knew it was Grandpa picking him up, he'd start Grandpa, Pampu, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then he, Mamu, Mamu, <laughs> and he'd jump in my lap, and I'd sit him on my seat, on my my seat. And, and we'd went home and and I'd say, Okay, Carlos, you had if you had your nap? He said, No. Okay, we're gonna nap nap then. What book do you wanna hear? And he'd he'd say Grandma, Grandma, read me the Papa Bear, bring me the Papa Bear. I go, Okay. I get the Papa Bear book and I said, okay, you sit on one side of Grandma's bed and I sit on the other. And I didn't want him close to the wall because I didn't want him falling between the wall and the bed. So I get by the wall and he was, he'd get by the mm -hmm. other side. And I started reading to him and, and he paid so much attention. And then they said, Papa Bear was, it's time for Papa Bear to take his nap, so Baby Bear had to take his nap. He says, Grandpa, can you tell me a story? The little bear would tell the Grandpa, and the Grandpa would say, Well, let me see, son. I have to get all motioned up. As I go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's one motion. <laughs> <laughs> and then he turned over and he said, another motion. Uh -huh. And oh, Carlos was giggle and giggle. He said, okay, Sunny Bear, time for your story. So I will start to re read the, the story. Uh, <laughs> and he would get so much fun out of that, that Papa Bear Fortin. <laughs> oh, how funny. Getting himself. And Mama Bear imitating him. <laughs> Do you that remember was our favorite story? Do you remember when he fat saw the bunny at Grandma Georgie's house? Huh? Do you remember the bunny that he saw at Grandma Georgie's house? The bunny? Oh yes. Patsy? Yeah. Uh -huh. He named her Patsy, the bunny? Yes, uh-huh. When because yes. Grandma was still alive, right? And family was still alive, uh -huh. yes, uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Yes, I remember that. We used to go outside and sit down, and oh, he was buying all kinds of things. There was a little, uh, uh, well, that bunny was one of them. And then the, there was a little turtle that would come out of the, the behind the step of the storm cellar. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was his friend. His friend, the, the turtle. Yeah. Little old turtle. Oh, he would have so much fun with that turtle. Uh -huh. That was another story about the turtle. And then the turtle wanted to go back behind the the step. And I said, Carlo let him go because he's going to go see his mommy and his little, probably little brothers and sisters. Oh, but I want to play with him. Yes, but he's got to go home. He can hear his mommy calling him. And that was the end of the turtle story. The next day, the turtle will be come out again, See you later. looking for Carlos. Hmm, how sweet. And, uh, uh, what would you like to tell Carlos about how you feel about him? Huh? What would you like to tell Carlos how you feel about him? About him? As he grows up, what advice would you give him? What advice would you give Carlos as he keeps getting older? Oh, I would tell him to believe in God. That's the main thing. When he gets up in the morning, bless himself, ask God for help, and God will help him. The next thing is for him to always remember he has a mother. If he has any problems, run to his mother for problems. Tells his mother his problems, and I'm sure his mother, some way or other, would try to help him solve them. And third, he's got two sisters he can depend on. Run to his sisters for help when he needs help. And they'll see the man of the house, don't let them, him. Don't let that stop him from asking a woman's advice. Because, like Grandma says, we women know the, bo the best. What's <laughs> good for a man? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mother. I'll, she'll treasure this.